Hi, I am Ajada with STV Broadcast, and I am here with Cleo at the fundraiser for Annie Walsh. Can you tell me a little bit about the fundraiser? Well, the fundraiser is held by a group called Together for Annie Walsh, and that they are really um, a younger group of alumni that decided to come together and find a different way to fundraise for the school and do something different because they visited um, the school in Sierra Leone and just they were just disappointed in the state that they found the school, so they decided to come back and they just wanted to do something different and find a way to reach the younger group of alumni and do something for the school. Okay, that's great. Thank you guys for that. Tell me a little bit about the school itself when you were attending. Well, when I attended the Annie Walsh, it was the most elite school in Sierra Leone. It was actually the school that you wanted to attend. I mean, there were other really great schools, but my family, every woman in my family has attended the Annie Walsh. Mm. So it was a big honor to go to that school. And I remember vividly as a kid, when you took the selective entrance exams, you wanted to go to the Annie Walsh. Mm. So it was a very great school. I went, the school was a very disciplined school. That was where you got all the highest grades from. And really, I mean, not that other schools did not have great <laughs> grades, but it was the school to carry the name. Okay, is it still so, like that now? I'm not quite sure. However, I don't think it is. I know that now they have a lot of private schools in Sierra Leone. That have, the trend has really moved towards privatizing a lot of the schools. Mm -hmm. But um, from what I have heard from people who have gone, it is not in the best of shape. Okay. Like, I left it. Mm -hmm. But I have not been home for 20 years, so I can't really say what it looks like today. Right. So for those who haven't been to an all-girls school, tell me how was it like going to an all-girls school? It's the most amazing experience, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, well, in Sierra Leone, you had so many schools that were all girls school and all boys school. But being in an all girls school gave you like a whole different perspective because there's this um, healthy competition among mm, girls, right. um, and it was cool to be smart because you were around women that were achievers, and the school was built by very strong women, and it was it was just a school that made you feel powerful. Just the fact that you attended that school and you wore that uniform, mm -hmm. you felt like you were part of the. The, you know the future it was, just, it was just a really good school and the experience being with all females it's like a bond that you have that you have kept for the rest of your it's life as you bond. saw today yes as you saw today these people i have not seen some of them for years but it's like just seeing them again just brings me right back you know it's like rewinding 20 years and just the days where we all just we just played around we didn't care about boys we didn't care about anybody looking at us it was just girls just in school and having a great time right like you mentioned earlier about the uniforms i saw some of the girls out there yeah. with the, the colors what does the colors symbolize um the colors I, I can't really say what they symbolize but however in sierra Leone, most of our schools have uniforms mm -hmm. and we wore green and orange, which I have here. <laughs> I had yes, and um, we wore these brown shoes that were so hard to find. But we were, we were the only school that wore brown shoes, and it's just—it was just like when you wore the uniform, you were easily identified. And everybody, when you walked around in the street, I remember the first day of school. It was the most proud feeling to wear that green and orange. And everybody, some people come out and just see who everybody, you know, what school everybody's going to, and it was like you were wearing that uniform. You were like, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm one of the smart ones that made it. So that was like a really awesome feeling. Right. Yeah. So when, we, when you weren't studying so hard, mm -hmm. what were your favorite things to do your pastime? Um, we hung out. We had friends. We hung out. We sang. We, we had all these. Um, I know that for me and my friends, we always wanted to be Madonna backup singers. Oh, Madonna. And we had every girl in my school that I knew had songbooks. I remember that what we did, we had these songbooks and we would write out all the lyrics to every song. And that was a big thing. And we had these books called slum books where everybody would write in your book. Oh. And like their favorite things to do and their favorite musicians and all that stuff. So that was like a big thing among girls that was seemed to be really popular and really, you know, that that's what we did. We hung out. <laughs> really fun. Yeah. Really yes. fun. It was a lot so fun. being an alumni, how can you give back? How can you, you contribute to, you know, any wash now? Well, I think through like fundraisers and just being in America and seeing the different ways that schools here raise funds and they feel they have an obligation to their alumni. Mm -hmm. Schools over here, you know, when people graduate from college it's they they recognize the impact that that school had on their life and their future. So for me, I see myself participating in fundraisers, volunteering my time here, even though I'm not there, but volunteering my time here and putting together fundraisers like this where we can bring people together so that they're aware of the situation in Sierra Leone and just seeing different ways that we can all help because everybody brings in something different. You know, you can, you can never be sure, but that's how I feel like I can help. And I want, I'm, I'm proud of um, the fact that I went to the Annie Walsh. My children know all about my school, so I'm teaching them, in a sense, how they can give back by me giving back to my school. And just the time alone, just the fact that I'm participating here, to me, is giving back to my school. Right. Wow. 
Wow. That's very, very excellent. Do you ever reminisce about the days in Sierra Leone? Oh my God, yes I do. It, it was How like, long has it been since you? I've been out of Sierra Leone for 20 years. Wow. But it was like the best time of my life to be perfectly honest. I remember things so vividly about when I was in school. And I mean, I've kept my friends. I have friends here that I've been in school with since I was probably like 10, 12. So, I mean, they've stayed my friends. You know, we've all kind of kept in touch and we, you know, kids go to each other's parties and stuff like that. But it's, um, it's a really great feeling to have okay. that, like, that, that bond from people so long ago. Wow, you know? that's excellent. Well, thank you for interviewing with us. I had a great time. Oh, thank you. Blast. And thank you very much. How often do you guys have the fundraisers? Um, we're trying to put up at least four fundraisers a year, different okay. things. I know that we had a, um, what we call a, like a sale, like a food sale, like a bake sale. And that was really successful. We had a lot of people come through and this is our second event. And we're planning on, you know, just doing small things that would just bring people together, just really more for awareness and trying to raise funds in creative ways because, you know, it's just not... You know, it's just something new to us, so we're trying to incorporate things that we see here in America that work, mm -hmm. yeah, that could hopefully work with our people mm -hmm. in raising funds, you oh, know. Wow. So, um, we try to get at least four fundraisers in. This is actually our second fundraiser, exactly. and we're looking forward to doing at least four a year. Okay, will it be hosted in the same Maryland area? It will probably be hosted in, the Maryland, in this Maryland area because we have such a high population of Sierra Unions and an Annie Walsh, you know, alumni here. Okay. So, you know, but we hopefully, maybe someday we can spread out to different parts of the yeah. country and just, you know, and people can join us. Okay, great. Thank you so much for interviewing with us. I really appreciate it. I had a blast tonight with the fundraiser. Thank you for giving back to the children of Sierra Leone. Really Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you.